what is up guys in today's video you guys were asking me a lot of questions about like my hunter setup and what do i use and all that stuff so today i'm gonna explain everything i do on hunter every stuff i have on hunter why i use it and all that stuff so let's jump right into the video don't mind my hunter pretty ugly i don't really care about that stuff i usually get a female hunter I don't know if it makes a difference, but I always do like a female hunter because I think the hitbox is going to be the same. Like you're still going to get killed from the left here and all that stuff, the right side here. But I feel like the character is smaller, so the enemy is going to see you smaller a little bit too. So when you're going to be peak shooting, they're not going to see you as fast as like a male hunter and all that stuff. That's why I do a female hunter. And for the loadout, it depends. If I play comp, I put like Dust Rock, NF and warcliffe or machine gun i play ice rider usually but you guys all know that night stalker with the metal tree is just the best super right now it's just broken let's review the the mods and like the mobility resilience and recovery the stats why do i put 917 that's the biggest question my biggest tip to you guys on a hunter is to prioritize the mobility first so at least put nine eight nine or ten also put one resilience not more than one you're gonna know why in a second and recovery try putting um six seven it depends if you want to put ten mobility six recovery or nine mobility seven recovery it's up to you guys i like having seven recovery but I could play 10 1 6, still a good setup. That's how you play Hunter, right? For real. In PvP. In PvE, doesn't matter. You can have zero mobility. The mobility, it's only gonna help you to strafe. So go left and right. So when you're gonna be aiming, you're gonna move left and right faster. So it's gonna be harder for the enemies to kill you. That's why I run a lot of mobility. Also, it's gonna increase like your movement speed that like i said but it's also gonna increase your maximum jump high and this like a lot of mobility with stompies it's the perfect setup for hunter in pvp i'm, I'm gonna explain to you why like in a second so here's why mobility is important i'll just play some clips so let's take a look here mobility like i said it's gonna increase your movement speed when you walk so left and right when you strafe but mobility is also going to increase your jump height so you're going to jump so you're going to jump higher so you can see right now that i'm jumping really high with stompies and nine mobility and you want to jump on some ledge on some ceilings on top so like i so you can see right now that i'm jumping on top of stuff so i bump my head on stuff it makes me go faster that's how you got to play a hunter and of course, when you're gonna shoddy, you're gonna jump in the air and all that stuff. So that's why mobility is really important. So the perfect example to show you guys, it's to play on Eternity. Look at how I jump on the ceiling here and how fast I'm going by doing it. So that's good to escape some enemies and just walk around the map, be really fast at pushing people. You just jump around, jump on ceilings like right now. Hunters, they have the best movement in the game, so make sure you spam that jump button. That's how you're gonna get a lot of kills and be fast. So that's why I play 9 mobility with stompies. Okay, now I'm gonna explain why resilience doesn't matter on a hunter. Why you need only one. You can't put less than one on a hunter. I think warlock, you start with zero. You can put zero on the warlock. The minimum on a hunter is one. And on the titan, I think you start with four. But on a Titan, it's different. If you play Titan, you should try putting four, five, six. It depends. If you want to survive the thorn, it's going to be six and all that stuff. But today, we're just going to be talking about the Hunter. I might do a video about the Titan in the future. But like I said, we're going to focus on the Hunter today. So why re one resilience? One resilience is enough on a Hunter because it's just going to help you with the Ace of Spades. It was good to put more than one in the old meta with the Mida, but right now in comp especially, everyone is running Luna and NF. We all know that the Luna or NF damage boost is insane and nothing is gonna save you from that. Like you're gonna get three tap anyway every time. 
even at like really long range. So yeah, one resilience is just gonna help you survive the two tap from the Ace of Spade. Pretty good weapon, but not that many people use it on console. Uh, just put one. So yeah, that's why I only put one resilience. So here's why I, why I put a lot of recovery. I feel like your recovery is really important in PvP. It's gonna help you regen your health faster. So that means when you engage someone, you kill him, and you're weak, you're gonna regen faster, and you're gonna be it's gonna be faster to push again. So that means you're gonna get more kills, and you're gonna team shot with your team more. You're not gonna wait like in a corner, just waiting for your HP to be back. And team shotting is gonna help you a lot in Destiny 2. It's the game is based on, about team shotting, so. I get a kill, I'm weak, I crouch in the corner a little bit, I just crouch, I always crouch to regen, it's the strat. As soon as your health starting to regen, you can peek again and challenge with, it, with your team. So that, what, that's why I put a lot of recovery, and if you have zero, it makes a big difference, like, you're gonna regen way faster with seven or six. For the mods on the Hunter, I'm... Um, depends what you're what you're playing but usually if you want to play comp in general you're gonna put some ink and stuff but it depends on your loadout but for me like today we're gonna to be talking about my hunter build what i think is the best hunter build to put and i feel like it's dust rock a hand cannon and like a warcliffe maybe luna or nf you can use a trust too service revolver is really good too but yeah always put ink cannon targeting and if you have the Dreaming City, like this helmet here, with an Ants and Cannon Targeting, it's going to give you 10% more aim assist. This one's going to give you 5. Unfortunately, I'm not like really a big PvE player, so I didn't get a an Ants and Cannon Targeting. But uh, this one's doing the job for me. 180s are not really difficult to use, so you don't need that, that much aim assist. Also, alright, so we have one recovery on the helmet we got two recovery here we got one paragon and two mobility that's my setup for the mods like i said and cannon targeting on the gauntlets we're gonna put and cannon loader and shotgun scavenger and cannon loader is just gonna increase your reload speed for the nf or like your and cannon in general and make sure you always put shotgun scavengers or like sniper scavenger if you have it on the chest piece, we're gonna put unflinching and cannon aim, but you can put like unflinching light arms. It's up to you. So your end cannon is just gonna get less flinch when you get shot at, and it's gonna help you land your edge shots more often. And for the boots, I always put stompies. Stompies just the best exotic on Hunter. Everyone I know at Legend Rank, every sweaty players, they play stompies. It's just gonna make you slide really far. Like I said, you put stompies. I have Ankin and Dexterity on my Stompies, but if you have Traction, it's better. Traction's gonna help you just... When you're gonna aim, it's gonna be pretty slow. You're gonna get the kills. You're gonna be better at getting the kills if your sense is slower when you aim. And when you're not gonna aim with Traction, your sense is gonna be higher. So, for example, if you play like 3 cents when you aim, and with Traction, you're gonna run on maybe at 5 so it's gonna make a little difference and if you guys didn't know i'm playing at six cents a lot of people ask me we don't play any vibration i play default i play claw that means i hold my controller like in in a weird way you can go check on youtube how to play claw there's some videos out there it's pretty weird but you can try getting a scuff it does the same shit and on the cloak we're gonna put some shotgun scavenger too always good to have like some shotgun ammo so yeah that's for the mods for the super we could play night stalker the best super in the game i don't really like playing night stalker anymore but when i used to play night stalker i was using the marksman dodge both dodges are pretty good it's up to you i like the marksman to just uh shade step and reload the warcliffe pretty fast and reload all my weapons I'm used to this uh, dodge, but I feel like most people use a gambler. We use the void wall grenade, straight jump, always put straight jump on a hunter. Triple jump can be good, but like I feel like straight jump it, with stompy is just the best jump ever. It makes you go faster when you jump like on the ceiling and all that stuff. 
Also, like I said, play Spectral, that thing is OP. When I play Knights the uh, Arc Strider, I use the same stuff with Arc Bolts, and we use the middle tree. I feel like middle tree is just amazing in countdown, especially. You can defuse a bomb and just block. And for the Gunslinger, we actually play Blade Barrage. Quick play, I play Top Tree Goldie, but for comp, I play Blade Barrage. I put the Incendiary Nade, even if it's pretty bad in Destiny 2. It was way better in D1. I feel like this grenade needs a buff in D2. I use the same jump. I use the same dodge. But yeah, that's my setup with the supers. But like I said, I like playing Arch Rider right now. So we're going to put Arch Rider. And yeah, that's my setup for this video. That's the best setup to use for Hunter in my opinion. And like I said, 90% of players on PS4 especially play Hunter. Even on PC, a lot of them. So if this video can help a little bit, my job is done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you drop a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Tell me if you're, uh, if what do you think about my setup, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.